Kia ora. This little animation or simulation is useful to explore the effect of pH on solubility. So we've got various hydroxides over here and the solubility products. So you can see they're all sparingly soluble salts or hydroxides. And down here, it's the solubility in pure water and then how it changes if we change the pH. So for example, if I have, for instance, manganese hydroxide, it's got a very small solubility product, and so it is not very soluble in water. And if I have it in a high pH, then you can see it's even less soluble. So it drops from 10 to the minus 5 to 10 to the minus 10 moles per liter. So hardly anything dissolves. And that's because at a high pH, we have lots of OH minus in uh, solution, which will drive the equilibrium towards the solid manganese hydroxide. And it'll decrease the amount of manganese ions in solution. As I decrease the pH, notice what is happening to my hydroxide. It is becoming more and more soluble because the as I decrease the pH, I'm adding hydronium ions which react with the hydroxide ions and so it'll increase um, the solubility because it'll push the equilibrium to the right, the manganese hydroxide to its ions, it'll form more and more ions to try and make up for the hydroxide that's be being removed by reacting with the hydronium ions being added as I decrease the pH. So explore what happens with these different um, salts and um, it would also be useful if you've also used this to practice your calculations. So at the different pHs could you work out the solubility of the substance. Um, that's for extension. Otherwise, you just have to explain in terms of the equilibrium. So, kia ora.